Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Dragon Ball Nation. And I got some exciting news today. Uh, the new Dragon Ball Z 2015 movie has a title, and we know uh, some more about that wish and a lot about the story. And I'm going to have some speculations that I have uh, myself and uh, my brother commented on earlier. So I'm going to talk about that later on. But first off, uh, in the January uh, you know, issue of the V-Jump magazine, they revealed that the title of the new Dragon Ball Z movie is Dragon Ball Z Faka Fukatsu no F. Don't know what that means, but uh, apparently the F stands for Frieza because uh, there should be an image on screen uh, so I can, you know, it be easier to analyze it because no one's really been analyzing this image from what I've seen. Uh, the F apparently stands for Frieza, and I guess Frieza's being wished back in the new movie. This is not something that I had anticipated in the slightest because you'd have to think if Frieza was getting wished back, what's the worst he could possibly do to anyone in the uh, world? I mean, he could terrorize a little bit, but once the Z fighters get wind of him, he's gone. Or uh, aside from like Tien and uh, Krillin, they probably wouldn't be strong enough to take on Frieza, I would imagine. Um, but it's very, very interesting, and I believe the release date of the film for Jeff. Japan theaters is April 18th. Yes, April 18th in 2D and in 3D. And I don't think Battle of Gods was uh, available in 3D, which is very interesting. Now, I'm gonna start an like discussing. Like, my brother did mention this, and he was kidding around when he said this. He was like, "Oh, look at uh, Frieza has godly key around him." <laughs> he was like joking around and stuff. But I really did think about it, and I'm like, you know, that actually isn't a stupid idea if you look at that key it looks similar to a super saiyan god uh like key and i'm not saying this is confirmed or anything because it's absolutely not this is just speculation but like think about the only way frieza would be able to uh possibly keep up with anyone is if he had some sort of god the key there must have been another wish aside from frieza being brought back or maybe the wish he was like something related to bring him back maybe he's immortal and is much stronger but I don't really know myself but if you really do look at that key they they didn't just put that key there I'm pretty sure just for like artistic purposes they put it there for a reason that is a different type of key than Frieza has ever had in the series and there is definitely something going on there he must have some godly uh, essence in him and Beerus and Whis are making a return as well as well as some new characters that are on the uh, bottom left and right corners of the screen there they clearly look like they are Frieza soldiers of some type they have scouters and uh, you know saying uh, Frieza soldier armor uh, but I don't <laughs> it's so confusing of what this actually really could mean now there's some Japanese text to describe who those characters are and I believe that the one the uh, shorter one is called Sorber, and the one, the taller one is called Togama. Tagama. I'm not good at pronouncing anything at all. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm reading this as I'm uh, discussing this because I had found a new page. Uh, but apparently, they are survivors of Frieza's army and his uh, servants. And this is interesting because someone asked on my, uh, you know, Ask FM, my Q and A videos. What happened to Frieza's army after he died? And I guess this is it. Like I said, some of them lived on. I, I believe that's what I said. But, um, I mean, I could be wrong. But yeah, it's very, very, very interesting. Like, how is Frieza that strong? And another thing to note, it looks like that... I mean, obviously that's Krillin and then Piccolo and Beerus and Whis over there. But in between Piccolo and Krillin, it looks like that might be Yamcha. And then you got Vegeta up there who looks like he's wearing the same outfit as usual. But look at Goku. Goku is wearing something different. My brother pointed this out as well. I did not notice it uh, right away. He's wearing a different outfit. He has no weighted clothes on it seems. And he's a different symbol. I don't know what this is. I'm very, very curious to what is going on here. But yeah, that's my thoughts on this guys. Let me know what you think. Seriously, I want all of you guys input because I am really really curious of what all this uh, crap could be. Uh, it's definitely weird seeing Frieza be a returning villain, but we'll just have to see how it all plays out. But that's basically been it. 
If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you're new around here, definitely subscribe to my channel because I will be, you know, keeping you up to date with all of this news on the movie. I also do other Dragon Ball Z uh, videos, so you can check that out on my channel. Be much appreciated if you subscribed if you have not already. But yep, that's basically it, and I'll catch you later.